As described by Obi-Wan Kenobi, the Force can have a strong influence on the weak-minded. We see him alter the thoughts of Stormtroopers, and in Return of the Jedi, we see Luke alter the thoughts of Bib Fortuna. However, we also see Luke fail to influence Jabba the Hutt. The important thing to remember is that Jedi mind tricks and whether or not they work is all about strength of mind. However, there were some species that had a natural resistance as displayed by Watto in The Phantom Menace. Today we'll be talking about all the species that have shown that resistance in Star Wars. While we've seen some canon examples, most of the information here will be taken from Legends materials. Let's start with the Toydarians, since Watto straight up declares that Jedi mind tricks won't work on his species. In canon, it's unclear if they're simply resistant or completely immune to powers in the Force. The Legends book The Jedi Path claims that beyond mind tricks, they are also resistant to illusions and telepathic suggestions. Poggle the Lesser is another character who claims that his species is immune to mind tricks. It's possible this is because Geonosians existed in a hive mind controlled by their queens. Next up are the Huts. I would argue that we don't know enough in canon to make this claim. We've only seen one mind trick attempted on one Hut, so it's possible Jabba was simply mentally strong. But in Legends, Huts were notoriously difficult to influence or read through the Force. That said, it was still possible to pull off a mind trick on one. Revan was able to successfully use a mind trick on Mata the Hutt during the Jedi Civil War. Those are the only three races that we could even argue anything about mind trick resistance in canon right now, so the rest of our discussion will be completely legends. The Deshade were an uncommon species in the galaxy thanks to a supernova that destroyed their homeworld. The survivors were resistant to radiation and all direct applications of the Force, including pushes. They couldn't even be sensed in the Force, which caused the Sith to recruit many of them as assassins. The Yinchori were apparently immune to any mental manipulation. In Legends, Darth Plagueis believed they had evolved their immunity as a response to past threats to their survival, and he suspected that they were naturally strong in the Force. Plagueis and Sidious at one point considered using the Yinchori in their anti-Jedi army, but those plans eventually fell through in favor of the clones. The Feline were noted for having strong pheromones that made them irresistible even to Jedi. Perhaps their own abilities to influence the thoughts and feelings of other beings is what gave them the strength of mind to resist mind tricks. The Birkna were rock-based creatures, which made their molecular structure very different from Metichlorian-infused organic cells. On top of that, the entire species shared a communal mind. Those two facts made the Birkna resistant to every direct force application, including mind tricks. Due to their fluid structures, shape-shifting species like the Shido or the Polydroxal were difficult to grasp and manipulate through the force. A species called the Cludavian were noted to be immune to mind tricks in a series of children's books set around the Phantom Menace. It's interesting to note that the Cludavians, Yinchori, Faline, and Deshade were all reptilian creatures. Those are all the species that were confirmed to be resistant to Jedi mind tricks in Star Wars Legends and canon. But keep in mind that just because a race or an individual being was considered to be strong-willed, that didn't mean mind tricks were completely useless on them. Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Mace Windu were all able to combine their influence to affect the mind of bounty hunter Cad Bane during the Clone Wars. Theoretically, a number of Jedi could do the same on some, if not all, of the species mentioned here. The Imperial Inquisitors were even able to combine their forces against Jedi in order to pull information from them. But that's it for today. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.